I'm, my name is Rick Husband. I'm the commander of STS-107. When, whenever we have these type of uh, launch delays, you know, I would say probably initially there might be a, a bit of a letdown or disappointment, but then we realize that we've been given a gift of uh, more time to prepare. And we're going to be flying a 16-day science mission. We'll be dual shift, round-the-clock operations, doing science in a Space Hab double research module for 16 days. We're really looking forward to it. Rick talked about the delays a little bit, and I'd have to say from a rookie standpoint, the delays are probably good. I feel that in going through the training flow, essentially a second time, a little, little bit less like a, like a rookie and a little bit more like a veteran. It's been six and a half years since I came to NASA, so, uh, and I really was hoping that I get to go sooner than this. I, I got the most excited today when we pulled out of crew quarters in the Astro van and I saw the flashing lights on the police cars and the helicopter following us and uh, I, I really felt like a little kid and I, and I remember getting down to the vehicle thinking I should really be you know a lot more serious a lot more paying attention to detail and but then I thought about how I had worked here for two years as an astronaut prior to getting assigned to this mission and I really know the care and attention that everybody here uh, puts in to getting the shuttle ready and launching it and when I thought about that, it really let me relax and just kind of enjoy that excitement. And, and I'm sure it'll be the same and even more uh, launch day. And our astronauts coming out now as they are making their way to the astronaut van. Commander Rick Husband, payload space specialist Elon Ramon, pilot William McCool, and mission specialist Michael Anderson, David Brown, Laurel Clark, and Colt Nachapa. Go ahead. Okay, Rick, if there was ever a time to use the phrase, uh, all good things come to people who wait, this is one time. And uh, for the, you and your crew, best of luck on this mission and from the many, many People put this mission together. Good luck and Godspeed. Oh, we appreciate it, Mike. The Lord has blessed us with a beautiful day here, and we're ready to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. We have a go for main engine start. Five, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the international research mission finally underway. Roger roll, Columbia. What our plan is, is on the flight to try and uh, capture uh, each of the crew members in uh, progress of doing some of their jobs on orbit uh, with some narration. Now here we have the red shift and the blue shift all on the mid-deck during our handover before the blue shift goes off duty and the red shift uh, starts their day. And what we do is we gather, we try and pass on what we've learned from the uh, previous shift and uh, what the status of the various payloads is. And of course we're getting ready to go home, so we're doing exercise and uh, even doing push-ups in order to be ready to feel good when we get back to Earth. Push-ups seem a little bit easier here for some reason. Go ahead, Houston. Yeah, Rick, I uh, guess you've been wondering, but you are go for the deorbit burn. We are going to continue to assess uh, the, which runway end we prefer, but for now we are happy with the weather at KSC. You are go for the burn. Willie, no deltas. Copy, no deltas. So we're going to leave visors down now. Hello. No, I'm no, just no, saying, no. just check your suit. Banking to the right now, a steep bank of 60 degrees and approaching uh, the west coast of the United States.
Columbia speed 16,620 miles per hour. Columbia Houston, com check. Columbia Houston, com check. Columbia Houston, UHF com check. Columbia Houston, UHF com check.